with the amazing Cindy Lopper, who has written Kinky Boots. How has that experience been? Not alone. I mean, there was a lot of us. I know. Working with Jerry Mitchell isn't it amazing. He's awesome. He's an awesome force. I feel very fortunate. Yes, he's amazing. I want to thank you so much for everything you do in the community. You're a true hero. I'm a friend and family member, so we're all connected. And it's great. It's great to be able to see that people are still banding together to help. And um, the Harvey Milk School was one of those projects. That's a really great project. And Broadway, Broadway Cares is a incredible organization that's done so much for so many and Jerry Mitchell since 1992 has raised so much money for Broadway Cares I'm so proud to be able to give him an award tonight thank you very much for Mike Kavanaugh with Hero News, and I'm here with Jerry Mitchell. How are you? Your fashion. You're so fashionably fabulous. I have no fashion sense whatsoever, and that I should be kicked out of here for wearing this, but how are you? I'm very good. Happy to be here. I'm so happy that you're here, and congratulations on getting the award. What do you feel it's like? Quite an honor, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. And why is this event so important to you? Well, it's like, it's like Broadway Cares. I know, I've known about the event through Nick Kinkle, who's directing this year's Broadway Bears, and um, you know, any time the community, people from the community, give back to the community, that's worth something. And I'm, I'm just happy to be honored and happy to be here supporting this event. And you created Broadway Bears, which is my favorite event in the whole world. Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. Please make a huge donation right now. Uh -huh. And now you've expanded it. You do it in London. You do it in Vegas, which is amazing. Vegas, London, and Fire Island. Okay, by the way, April 21st, if you're in Vegas, please go to Broadway Bears Vegas. It's going to be amazing. What is that called this year? It's uh, the Bears Show on Earth. Oh, it's going to be awesome. And also, coming up in June is Broadway Bears. And what number is this? 23. Broadway Bears 23, the United Strips of America. Okay. I will be there. It's my favorite event of the year. Jerry Mitchell now in Kinky Boots. How's that going? Thursday night, we open. I know. Congratulations on that. Amazing choreographer for that show. Please go get your ticket to Kinky Boots right now. Please support the Point Foundation Honors, all the charities that benefit from Jeffy Fashion Cares. And, Je and you are a hero to me. We're HeroNews.org, and you are an absolute hero. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Jerry Mitchell, 
and uh, getting to uh, collaborate with him and Harvey on this project. I was telling him, we didn't see the boots in 91, but now they're everywhere. So, um, I just want to introduce a really talented man who, who cares. He is a man about his people and is a pillar of your community, our community. And I am very, very proud to have worked with him and collaborate with him and to call him a friend. Mr. Jerry Mitchell. Jerry. Okay, I'm going to make this really quick. Uh, Jeffrey, Todd, Dan, uh, even though you're, you're leaving and you're going to be replaced by these fabulous men here, I want you to know that 10 years, you passed the Broadway hump. They say if you can run for 10 years, you can make it to 20. And um, Jeffrey, I know what you mean when you say how important it was for them to be here because Michael Graziano, who's sitting over there, is my executive producer, or producer for Broadway Cares Equity by Day, and Broadway Cares wouldn't exist without Michael. Um, we've been doing it together since the day games, where we met with Cindy. Cindy, where'd you go? She should be here holding me up. I said to her, I said, listen, let's get out of the theater. The reviewers are there tonight. Let's go do something fun. So here we are. I couldn't be more, um, uh, honored to accept this. I accept it for also uh, Dan the, and, and Todd, the thousands of volunteers who put Broadway Bears together every year. I mean thousands of volunteers, hundreds of dancers. Broadway Bears won. There were eight guys dancing naked on a bar at Splash. We made $8,000. I said, I can do this better. I'll add girls. <laughs> I added ladies, we did a second show, we made $17,000, I said, I can do this better, I'll do a theme. We started to do themes, and suddenly Broadway Bear spun into this evening of body burlesque fun that the entire theater community embraces. I may have been the person who started it, but I'm certainly not the person who keeps it alive. There are so many thousands of people I accept this for. We are going to do Broadway Bears 23 in June, the United Strips of America at Roseland. Let's bring this picture together with Seth.